I was a weird opera nerd. All the other guys were, you know, doing what they were supposed to do. I was listening to Offenbach operettas. Pericol always, from the get-go, kind of jumped out being one of the ones with the most sort of weirdly beautiful music, with a certain kind of uh, extra special emotional depth to the music. She's a really smart young woman who comes out of misery, I suppose. There's a lot of hunger and poverty at the beginning of the piece. When the vice king falls in love with her and invites her to the palace, she really sees it first as a, a way to have a dinner. And then a whole chain of events starts to unravel and she's stuck trying to get married to a stranger who turns out to be a real boyfriend. And the real boyfriend is a bit thick in the skull, so he never understands the situation. He's always really close to making everything a complete catastrophe. And they have a fabulous combative relationship. They love each other. They're totally crazy for each other. A lot of what's gorgeous about the music in Pericol is that it comes from this very deep love for each other. Because basically she goes through this entire ordeal hoping to find a better life for herself and her love. I kind of had a moment of clarity when I was YouTubing stuff from La Pericole and hit on a particularly interesting performance of a number from it from like a 70s French variety show. Somehow it started to lead me down a, a certain track about how to deal with this piece and the confrontation in this piece between artists and people in power. La Pericole was a famous Peruvian, but Offenbach and his librettists have taken the story to a completely different place. The power structure completely subverted and uh, taken over by this brilliant woman who is the least powerful person in the world, this itinerant uh, street singer. So now you have a really Nazi piece which suits Arden's imagination extremely well. Well, doing comedy is always a challenge for me because I always go down the dark road. When you do something like an Offenbach operetta, there's a lot of that in the piece and it operates on a lot of different levels. But at the same time, you don't want to unbalance the comedy. Everybody's bringing lots of ideas to the table and some we throw out, but we try them all. Therefore, you have lots of accidents. Someone falls and someone tries a weird voice and everybody bursts in laughter because that's not at all what was expected. Oh. I'm having a blast. <laughs> yeah. Often rock operettas are definitely a great way to ease yourself into the opera experience. The, the music is on an amazingly high aesthetic level. He was a brilliant, a natural composer working in a 19th century style. He was also such a fabulous uh, man of the theater and uh, a satirist about the, the society of that time, but uh, isn't it always um, amazing how little things change? It's going to be a very, very interesting show. Great music, crazy drama, lots of costumes, masses of people on stage, the chorus is all drunk. It's going to be a party, you've got to be there.